Something on the TV amuse you? No, oh, it's oh. nothing. I sent for you because something very serious has been going on. Now, I'm talking about... Before we talk business, Chief, there's something I wanted to ask. I don't think so. We'll talk about it some other time. There are some smugglers who are bringing in all sorts of goods without paying any tax on them. Cheap foreign imports that could be dangerous to use and might even put our own people out of Excuse a job. Excuse me, Chief. Now, listen up or lose out. At great personal expense to myself. Wow! Now, if I may continue what I was just saying, smugglers are bad for everyone. They just sneer at our customs officers and threaten the balance of payments at home. These men threaten the very fabric of our society, so you've got to stop them and end this smuggling for good. Well, okay, Mort, you had something to say, so speak up. He's a bit tongue-tied, Chief. <laughs> Well, I was wondering if you were interested in buying a transistor radio, Chief. You see, I managed to smuggle a whole case of them out of Hong Kong, so I could let you have it for, say, 30, okay? Were you listening? Did you hear me? <laughs> Gee, what did he want for that price? A CD player with quadraphonic speakers or what? They're delivering at the boogie bar. Now get over there and stop them. Ooh. Rufus the whale meets the connection and hands the stuff on. You better bring in both of them and the goods, understood? Ooh, that's great. Rufus the Whale will have those two for breakfast. Rufus the Whale? Have you forgotten how he fell on top of Agent Henderson that time? The buttons on the front of his coat made big red dents all down his back. You just gotta be smarter than him. Or be good at running. What a coward. There's the boogie bar, Mort. I'm gonna climb on top of the awning. You better stay put huh? here. Huh? Ooh! Huh. When he shows up, I'll just leap on top of him and we'll have him cuffed before he knows what's going on. Oh, yeah, sure, boss. It sounds as easy as falling off a log. Huh? Ah, a poisonous spider! <laughs> These are gonna let the water in. Seems you got off on the wrong foot. Button your lip. Look, Mort, there's Rufus the Whale over there at the bar. Let's get out of here. No, just order something we can afford. At your service, gentlemen. My friend's picking up the tab, so he'll order. Number one. Yeah. And number one. What exactly oh. is a number one? Just plain tap water, boss. You told me to order something that we could afford. Yeah. Well, he might have brought a straw. That's right, Mort. Stay inconspicuous, why don't you? Hey! Yeah! You go up and huh? kick the stool from under him. Huh? And when he falls to the floor, I'll cuff him. Well, here goes. Hey! Oh, hi there. There's something you want? No, I just stubbed my toe. That was a good idea, boss. Yeah. I just didn't know the stools have been bolted to the floor. Maybe we should try a different approach, boy. Yeah. You keep him occupied somehow, boss, and I'll put this in his cognac while his back's right. turned. A guy sees this lion tamer at the circus and asks how he does it. The lion tamer says, I use a flute, and it calms him down. So the guy wants to have a go. The lion tamer says, sure. So he takes the flute, and one by one, all the lions calm down, except the last one who half kills him. The guy says, what happened? The lion tamer says, I forgot to tell you. He's the dead <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, that was a great joke, buddy. Have a glass of cognac on me and tell me another one. No, thank you very much. Oh, come on. This will put a bit of fire in your stomach. <laughs> There! That must be his connection now. Lucky I got this hand grenade with me. I can make him tell me all about the contraband. Just like I told you, it's that picture you wanted to buy. The City at Night by Eugene Ooh. Contraband. It'll look great on your wall. Hey, little uh -huh. buddy, mind if I have this ring to keep the picture rolled up? Wait, you can't just... Watch! Don't hold the grenade, it'll go off! <laughs> Some late news. A man dressed as a mummy and shouting about Dutch painter Eugene Contraband walked into the offices of the TIA and threw its chief out of the 12th floor window. You got such a bad temper. Ooh. Shut up or I'll muzzle you now. Ha! Mush, mush, come on. Mort, the chief says they've discovered a new trail of Contraband. They're hiding jewels in the collars of dogs brought in by tourists. I got a description of one here. It's got black spots and belongs to Miss Theo Baldy Polygon. We gotta get over there right away, understand? Hi there, boss. Huh? How you doing? Huh? What do you think of my new disguise? Instead of disguising myself, I disguised my cat here, see? 
Yeah, that's real cute, Mort. What's the matter? Ow! You don't like any of my disguises. You just got no imagination, boss. While I distract the owner, you go in there and take the collar off the dog. Have I made myself clear? Oh, sure. So if the dog bites anyone, it'll be me. <laughs> Hi there, ma'am. I'm a dog lover, and I happen to know you have a real nice one. Can I just pat him on the head, maybe? Sure, you oh, can pat his head. He's right through there. You can't miss him. Thanks a lot. What are you doing patting his teeth? I thought you said you only wanted to pat his head. Do you have a dog with black spots? Oh, I thought you said the really nice one. Well, lizard's this way. Poor old lizard. He's as thin as a rake. He's been very poorly in the stomach. Yeah, that's the one. Come with me. You're looking a little picky yourself, young man. I'll go and get you something to eat. You can try a little bit of home cooking. I hope you like it. It looks like lentil soup. Well, I guess I'll try it anyway. And here's something that's just for you. Oh, haven't you given poor old Lizard his special doggy stomach liquid yet? Oh, that's nice. You're admiring the view. Well, you should still eat something, you know. Oh, no thanks, lady. I couldn't eat a single thing right now. Well, you still look a little green to me. I know what. I'll make some tea. Oh, yeah, my poor stomach. Thank goodness I always have some chamomile tea on hand. Yes, you really can't beat a good strong cup of dog wormer. Oh, dear, that's for my poor little doggies. You really should come away from that window. You'll catch a cold. That's impossible, lady. Dead people just get cold. They can't catch it. <laughs> ah, the boss has got the old girl talking. I'll go get the collar. Oh, my goodness! A dancing chimney sweep has gone into the house. He's a friend of mine, another dog lover, who just wanted to pat your doggy there. Silly me. I tied him up with an electric cable instead of his leash. I didn't have my glasses on, you see. Calm down, Mort. Don't get mad, you dumb pooch. There'll be no mistakes this time. I'm going to leap right on top of you and tear that collar off. Wow! I can't find my sewing basket. I wonder if I confused it with the dog's basket again. Wow! Those wounds could get infected. I'll give you a shot of penicillin. Are you sure that's penicillin? It looks more like chili powder. Oh, ow, While Mort ow, keeps you chatting away, I'll go and see if I can get that collar off. Ah, there you are. You're not trying to tell me that I hurt you with the needle. The hypodermic didn't hurt, lady. It was the number seven masonry drill bit that you put on the end of it. You pat the dog's head, boss. Yeah, Mort, I patted the dog. We had a smashing time. Oh, don't oh, go yet, yeah. boys. You must have supper with me. I've made a wonderful lobster soup. We don't want to be any bother. Tuck in, boys. Oh, dear, the lobster's here. Oh, what did I put in their bowls? Yo-ho, Miss Polygon. Don't get scared, but a big rat just went into your house. A rat? Oh, then that must be what I put in their bowls for supper. <laughs> Yeah, sure, I know you got the jewels back, but trying to dump that little old lady in the alligator pit at the zoo was taking things a little too far. Just let us do things our own way, okay? We're not stupid, you know, Chief. Orders from the Chief, Mort, we have to go. Hey, what are you doing, boss? Trying to ruin my new bed of nails, huh? Now what are you up to? Come on, boss, don't go crazy on me. Wow. Oh, well, it's your bed. Oh, thanks for turning me into a colander. You had to nail your point home. We gotta go to Jackal's Throat in the Border Mountain Range. The Chief says that there's a lot of contrabands gonna come through there. Okay, let's go. Has the Chief seen fit to provide us with any transportation? Well, yeah, I got the key here. What is it, a Ferrari? Or maybe it's a Porsche? Not quite. Huh? More like a poor excuse. This key is in the padlock on our bike here. Huh? <laughs> Come on, this bike's got a good frame and new tires. What more can a cyclist want, huh? Well, maybe some brakes would have been a good idea. Uh, at least this tree broke our fall. We ah. gotta think of some kind of plan to catch these smugglers, Mort. It's easy, boss. They're gonna have to come across this trench, right? Wow! Oh, oh, so what you mean is we should hide down here and surprise them when they try to cross over. We got rain now. A few little drops. Huh? Uh, oh, a few oh. little drops is plenty in these mountain streams. You hide yourself, boss. I'll stand watch in disguise. When I see them coming, I'll let you know, okay? Well, okay, Mort, but just make sure that you do. Ah, uh, this blowfly disguise should do the trick. A rare mascot. I'll pin him to this card to add to my collection. Yeah! Oh. 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 oh, I just hate it when they do that. Going fruit picking, but I thought you liked collecting bugs. Well, I guess I just don't hit it off with them anymore. I gotta go. Hey, look! 
We can hide in this hole until the smugglers but come. why a hole? They won't be able to smell us down here. Huh? Oh. That hole's perfect for dumping this sewage. Ain't no one for miles. Oh. So no one's gonna smell us, huh? I'll give you an eight by four box to the sanitation department. All right, boys, you can stop searching. It's all been a mistake. It wasn't contraband that was coming through here, but tons of sand. Contraband, tons of sand, an easy mistake to make. And I was up to my neck in work. Uh, boys, what have you been up to your necks in? Hey, what are you doing with that shovel? Come on now. Whoa. But boss, how exactly is the chief gonna breathe down there? Just leave me alone, Mort. Martin, Phil, get in here right now. We're stuck out here, chief. Mm -hmm. Well, you better get unstuck and get in here. Whoa! He meant we're stuck because of the large tin of super glue we spilled out here. You moronic! This is a sticky moment, Mort. We've come unstuck. They've smuggled large amounts of whiskey into the country. Disguised as Barry Berry antidote for the disease clinic. You gotta fake an accident, get in there and stop them. How do we go about faking an accident? <laughs> That's how, boss. We just say a horse stepped on you. Then we'll get in. There's no problem. How do you like an accident? If you had a better idea, you should have said. A horse stepped on his foot. No, silly. This is the victim. You can go right ahead. I can't go anywhere. I'm in absolute agony with my foot. Okay, don't worry. Here's the elevator. <laughs> Sorry, boss. The emergency room's there. I don't see anybody here. Ow! Why don't you lie down till the doctor gets here? No, oh, I'll try. I'll make you more comfortable, boss. <laughs> I was only trying to help. There are boxes in this storeroom. Well, it's probably the whiskey mud. Huh? Oh, these are really heavy. Where'd it go? <laughs> did I catch you on the hop again? You sure did. Uh, it's protective lead from the x-ray machine. I'd better check the last shipment. Whiskey, 100% proof. Okay, Mac, you're under arrest. Sure. Can you dream? Huh? Uh, how you doing there, sir? <laughs> oh, what a fight. Hmm. Well done, you brought him in. Thanks, Chief. Can I get some time off till my foot mends again? Sure, now have a giant candy on me. I got the box upside down. After being offered a piece of candy, the TIA man beat his superior so hard his mustache fell off. You can be so ungrateful. If anyone so much as breathes on my foot. Guard Caterpillar now. All right, I'm here. Huh? What is it? Hey, it's true, boss. This thing really works. What is that huh? thing? This pipe blows the mating call of the walrus and the Arctic seal. What? So I'm an Arctic seal? Actually, I was thinking more of the walrus. <laughs> <laughs> this smuggled gold dust hidden somewhere on Rook Street, waiting for a connection to pick it up. You gotta get that gold dust and bring in the connection. I'm gonna give you Frederick to help you out. You're gonna need him. Come on, this way, both of you. Ah. Here. Ah. Look, a lizard's going up to him. He'll tear it apart. These dogs are fierce. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Yeah, he's ferocious. A real tiger, huh? And how is he gonna get down? Let's hope he's trying to take a fall. A fractured tail, two cracked ribs, and a dislocated oh. paw. Well, come on, let's put the leash on him and we can get out of here. Huh? Come on, Frederick. Oh. Uh, don't pull too hard on the leash. He's dislocated three vertebrae. All right, let's get going. Well, uh, maybe we should give him some change, huh? boss, and he could go and get the bus. What I like about dogs is their sixth sense. Always on the alert for... Uh, oh! Hey, just look at that guy. Oh. Maybe he's the connection. Sniff him, Frederick, <laughs> sniff him. All right, we can go now. <laughs> Oh! Poor oh. oh, little fella, I didn't notice he'd stuck his nose in there. Oh. I know, what can you do? After all, he's only a dog. Oh, no, hey, Phil and Mort, look, huh? he's wearing the weevil, Mort. Okay, uh, Freddy, uh, get him. Uh, Go and bite uh, him on the leg. Uh, Why can't you just bite like other dogs? Uh, oh, that's it, you got him. Uh, False teeth. Oh, no, he's, got, he's escaping. Uh, hey, what? Uh, well, at least let's see if you can find the trail to the contraband. Go on, Frederick, find it, boy. <sighs> He really seems to be on the scent. Look, he managed to find it by accident. Hey, wait.
Ah, there you are, Frederick. And you brought the contraband with you. Well done. You two should be ashamed of yourselves that a dog has to do all the work. You should try and learn from his example. Now, what are you doing with that typewriter? It's agency property. The two men beat their chief with a typewriter. A dog at the scene fainted. When he comes to, it is hoped he'll be able to pick up their trail. Never mind your hay fever. Just sniff. Mort, you're coming. No, it's okay, boss. We'll be perfectly safe. Frederick's on our trail. Mark, Phil, there's another important job for you to do. You're both gonna have to keep your eyes wide open for this one. Whoa! Hi, Chief. I'm trying out my golfer's disguise. Guess I should have yelled four. Give me that club, Mark. <laughs> hmm. That ain't fair, Chief. That just ain't cricket. Ooh. We've managed to convince Mike Worm to testify for the prosecution in the case against these smugglers. You will have to protect him until the trial date comes around. If they get a hold of him, we haven't got a case. I've hidden him in this little office here, so you can... Hi, uh, Chief. I'm just going to see how old Butcher huh? is. That duck's oh. so fierce. Hey, Butcher, I'm coming in. Uh, hey, what's that you got in your mouth? Get rid of that's it. That's our witness, Mike Worm. The man you two were supposed to be protecting. Now this time, get him out of here and find him a safe place. Don't let the smugglers find out where he is, all right? I got it. I'll disguise myself as a musician mm -hmm. and take him out of here in a tuba. Mm -hmm. oh. Get in here. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, hey, oh. a tuba. I need this for a while. Here. This pipe's leaking boiling steam, so until they turn it off, I wanted to direct it up this way so no one gets burned Ooh. or anything. Hey, that's fixed now. Now leave it to cool down before you touch it. Mmm, what's going on here, Mort? Ooh. I can boil like a lobster. Look, there are some boxes over there. Good idea, boss. We'll just hide uh, them inside there. there. I don't like that. Ah, let's check the door, Mort. Why does this feel like my coffin? Hey, uh. isn't there somewhere else you could have rested that steel beam? Just look what you did. We just thought that it would help. Well, I sure hope he can worm his way out. It's all right, Mikey. How'd you feel? Uh, I have felt better. This way's good. We'll jump to the next building. I'll carry him. Uh, oh, ah. thank you. I prefer to jump on my own. Okay, Mr. Worm, go. I better put this plank across for him. Then he can walk over. I'm a pretty good jumper. Here I go. Boom! Ah. Twelve floors. Some people just can't accept help when it's offered. Huh? Come on, you'll be okay. No cop saw the damage it did to the sidewalk. Look, that gang's coming over. They're going to attack us. Quick, everyone. Okay, hide down this sewer. But no, huh? I... You have to unless you'd rather run the risk of being riddled by bullets. <laughs> well, that's no sewer. It's the electric company's manhole. Huh? That car's getting closer. We gotta hide him somewhere. Where is he? Oh, no. Keep away from me, you guys. I'm safer out here than I am with you. I'm sure they may shoot me, but they won't blow me alive or throw me up a building or drown me in a sewer or set a thon. Well, Chief, here we are back again. What's the matter with him? It looks like he fainted. Put something under his head and I'll give him some air. Okay, I gotcha. That package you hit, Mort, happens to be a very powerful bomb that only needs the slightest pressure for it to go off. You mean the package that was on your desk, Chief? That's it. Where did you put it? Why aren't you saying anything? Huh? Ah! Again? Get rid of that package. Get some ice in here. Don't you worry, Chief. You're in good hands here. I got the ice, huh? boss. Think it's enough? <laughs> My men get some ice cubes. Break up that ice block right now. Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Intelligent. Have you seen what you're hitting that ice with? Sure, boss. I'm hitting it with this here package. A package? Whoa! Oh, not you too. You fainted or maybe you're just chilling out. A bomb that was smuggled in by nervous Nick. Who was going to use it to blow up a government building? But our agents managed to stop him just in time, so now you get rid of it. I'll get transported and we're out of here. Permanently, I hope. Oh, yeah. This old rattle trap will do, so give me the package. Hey, what's the matter? What's going on? Oh, no. Quick, run away. Get that package out of here, or I'll make both of you eat it for lunch. Let's get it out, boss, before we're in more trouble. And shut the door on your way out. All right. I wasn't even through the door, you idiot. Open it up again. I'm calm. I'm staying calm. Now put this in a strong box and take it away to a safe oh. place. You got that? How about this steel box here? Put it in, boss. Huh? huh? Oh. 
Ah! Hey, Chief, come back. Hey, it hasn't exploded. You'll be perfectly safe. Oh, another scare like that, and I'll just... Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go to pieces. Now, where have those two got to? Hello? Where are you two idiots? Well, we left because we already found a safe place to put the package in, you see, Chief. You put it in a safe place? Well, where? My nerves can't stand it. I'll go up in smoke. Where did you put that package? Under the loose tile left of your office chair, Chief. My loose tile? Uh, ah! He's coming, boss. What'll I do? Keep it under your hat and get moving. Our spies have located the smuggler's hideout. They're trying to smuggle out several valuable works of art. You have to arrest those criminals and bring those paintings back. Now, here's the address. Don't you fail me this time. Well, boss, this is the address of the hideout. And there's a lookout on the door. Yeah, but he's a midget. Look, the newspaper's bigger than he is. It's okay, boss. I know enough karate to sort this guy out. Oh, ha, ha. You won't know what hit you, mister. Oh, oh well, for a karate expert, no one's too big. I was only kidding. <laughs> you got any other ideas? Yeah, we'll go in through one of the side windows, okay? And we're gonna need a vaulting pole for this one. We can use my extendable vaulting pole. Oh. Okay, boss, up you go. Hey, this thing's bending a lot more. Is it meant to sway so much? Oh, hey, mister, why are you waving your fist in the air like that, hey? Oh, oh you're the champ, boss. You beat me 12 teeth to five. Oh, my head. Give me that pole, Mort. I said it was extendable, boss, not bendable. Some people just... This thing's designed to go off in five minutes. Well, that's if it works. Ah, hey, kid, take this package to the guy standing on the corner. Here's a tip for you. Ain't you two bozos ever heard of the minimum wage? I can't take less than a hundred for this job or I'd be undercutting the prices of my union. Oh. Uh, well, I got a buck oh. 81. Well, take this yourself. I don't work for huh? cheap state small timers. Well, I... Okay, boss, I understand. I didn't like it either. But stop hitting me with that lump of... Time to use our secret weapon, boss. Gasoline together with a two-cent match. The ground turns downhill towards the hideout, so the burning gasoline will flow under the door and force the smugglers out. I'd say it was a surefire thing, boss. As soon as they feel the heat, they'll come out of the fire and straight into our frying pan. Yeah. My feet are cold. If only I could warm them up with something. Uh, I was only joking. Fetch the fire brigade. <laughs> While those two fools distracted the lookout, we both broke in. We crept in silently through a back window and managed to round up the whole gang of smugglers as well as the stolen art. That's right, we got Picasso, Van Gogh, Rembrandt. It's a fire! Yeah! 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 Let me out! I'm the chief! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm little Red Riding Hood! Fire destroyed the whole area and also some of the world's most valuable paintings. Even the chief of the TIA was badly burned. Oh, oh. Where are you? What are we gonna do, boss? He's got a flamethrower with him. Keep your wings down and cover my foot, will ya?